in 2019 I had a phone call from my brother asking me to drop whatever I was doing and catch the next available flight to Sweden he said Cecilia get the next available flight to Sweden please mama is in a bad state that was exactly what I did I dropped everything that I was doing at that point I went straight onto my laptop and got the next available flight to Sweden I didn't sleep all night I was at the airport first thing in the morning I boarded the aircraft I cried all through the journey I got to Sweden and my brother was at the airport waiting for me we drove straight to the hospital when I went to the hospital mama looked unrecognizable she had changed she looked frail and weak we sat there all evening we chatted and I went home we went home and the next day I prepared breakfast in the morning and we went to the hospital I had no makeup on nothing I looked really rough I didn't even comb my hair I looked really rough however on the second day when we were leaving the hospital my mom said hmm now look at me I'm in hospital come on I look better than you now look at you you haven't combed your hair no makeup no lipstick on but I'm in the hospital I'm the one who is not well but I look better than you and more beautiful than you I was like mm? okay okay madam mm-hmm you know so we all laughed about it and um, somehow she uplifted our spirit somehow she uplifted my spirit at that point like when I went into the hospital and I went into her room and I saw her I couldn't understand how someone could change within a short period of time such a short period of time she had changed so much that I couldn't even believe that she would say something like, like that come on she was just joking about the whole thing that like yeah I know I'm not well but I look better than you and I thought okay madam I'm going to dress up tomorrow so the next day when we went into when we went into hospital I went all dressed up I made my I had my hair combed I had my lipstick on my earring on mm, I even had some perfume come on I had some nice perfume on on the day and she said hmm you even smell good today when we went in and we chatted on that day on the third day we even played music we all danced and she was dancing on the third day I think it was because of the way we came in we came in all bright smiling everyone was smiling everyone was well dressed we even had perfume on and she was happy on that day she was like you cannot come in hospital to see someone who is not well looking the way you looked two days ago and yesterday you can't do that Mm. little did I know that my mom was preparing me for such a time like now sadly mama did not make it yeah. she passed on she's resting however she was preparing me for such a time like now because today I know that no matter how bad the situation is I have to get up 
dress up and turn up. Those were her, those were her words. Get up, dress up, and turn up. She said, life, my daughter, life is seasonal. You have good days and bad days. There are days when you are going to cry. There are days when you are going to laugh. There are seasons when you are going to plant. And there are some seasons when you are going to harvest, she said. But make the best out of every season. So I'm here today to tell you that no matter what you are going through, we are all going through challenging times at the moment. Do not give up. Do not give in. Get up every day. And learn what you have to learn on that day. Do what you have to do on that day. Accomplish what you can for that day. Just do the best that you can every day. Always look at the bright side of life. So when you get up every day, stay positive. Get up, dress up, and turn up. Remember that life is seasonal. Make the best 